Hi, I'm Wes Finley. I'm the Global Digital Operations Lead for Coca-Cola. Yeah, we're always trying new platforms and we actually have a ton of Tumblr pages and different markets trying Snapchat now. You know, I like to look at that fail fast model though, where, you know, we need to be measured in how we step into the water and try and fish where the fish are and if we're not getting that return, if we're not getting impressions, engagement on the amount of effort that it's taken to be in that location, then we need to step back out. You might have a team that does really good social measurement and finds great information, but then sharing that with the marketers who could use the information or the agencies creating the campaigns is sometimes a little more difficult. You know, it's really valuable. That's the data that can inform your decisions and you make real world decisions based on how that's performing. And you can tie together impressions that your campaign is receiving to sales data. So, you know, if you're looking at strict impressions and how that's going to drive sales, um, that type of uh, measurement's just invaluable. For small businesses, I would say one that I'm seeing a lot is taking the real world aspect of social marketing where they use real world components, whether it's signs that say like us on Facebook or whether it's maybe coupons for if you if you're a fan of the page. I think those can really benefit because they uh, allow small businesses to generate a community of fans that is very local and are the ones who are actually going to be purchasing your products because they, they live nearby. I see a lot of great businesses that are doing well without digital strategies and you know that's fine but I think that it can you know make them exponentially more successful to have a good creative and good content strategy on digital um, and I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend fifty thousand dollars for an agency to do that for you um, but you just have to take a measured approach and find out what's benefiting your business and driving sales the most. Try some smaller agencies you know you don't have to uh, work with the, a big agency that caters to a big brand like Coca-Cola there's some great knowledge in smaller agencies that, that may not be working with big brands at the moment, but that have the, the right knowledge to succeed in social marketing right now. Finding new platforms and ways to, to, to make your business more visible and aware for consumers. A lot of times the first place consumers find out about a business is on social media. Etsy type of brand, maybe it would be a Pinterest page. Um, generally Facebook and Twitter are the easy ones to go to since they have the largest audiences right now. Um, but then know that you're probably not going to drive your audiences there organically. You're going to have to do either, like I said, that in-store marketing where you're driving people through couponing or through promotions um, in your store, or you're going to have to drive them there um, you know, through digital marketing, um, on the, which is paid on the platform. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be you know, $10, $15 per post, but it can make a huge difference because you're going to be exponentially increasing the number of impressions that those posts receive. Paid can really do that. It levels the playing field a bit. Because uh, before, you know, a brand like Coca-Cola with 90 million fans would see just so much organic traffic that you really couldn't get your message heard if you were an emerging brand or, or just starting your Facebook page and only had a few hundred fans. But now through paid, you know, if you're spending $10 per post, you can actually get um, tens of thousands of impressions, whereas before you'd be driving tens. <laughs> so um, you can reach for just a few hundred dollars the same amount of audience that Coca-Cola could try and organically reach even though it has 90 million fans. I think that a lot of small brands might not uh, jump in just because um, they're a little uh, unfamiliar with the space but I think it's so easy to just test and learn. You can just use best practices that are that are inherent and to really find out what your audience likes because you're not going to make a mistake uh, initially um, as you grow. Um, you might make a mistake if you have a huge audience already but for those small brands they can really find their way, um, you know, just, just get in there and try something.